When you catch a ray, guide it into shallow water with your rod. You'll perform the tagging procedure on the wet sand, just above the swash zone. When you move the ray, be careful of the venomous spines at the base of the tail. Place a wet cloth over the spines and hold them down firmly, parallel to the tail, with one hand. Using the fingers of your other hand, find the groove just above the top lip of the ray for a firm grip. Gently drag the ray until you are just above the swash zone. Don't try and lift the ray by its wings, as the cartilage skeleton can easily get damaged. Also, never try and drag or carry the ray by the tail. And don't flip a ray onto its back on the sand, as this removes the protective mucus layer. It's unlikely that you will be able to place a captured ray onto a measuring tape. It's easier to simply mark it off in the sand. Remember, we need the disc width or wingspan of a ray. Draw parallel lines in the sand next to each wingtip and then measure it. The sex of the ray can quickly be determined by looking at the base of the tail. If claspers are present, it's a male. No claspers, it's a female. Note that in small juvenile rays, it may be difficult to determine the sex, as the male's claspers may not have developed yet. To minimize the time the ray is out of water, have your tag and the applicator ready. With a ray, it's important to be extra careful about the correct placement of the tag. Insert the tag into the muscle at the base of the tail, close to the spine, not in the softer tissue on either side, because this is where vital organs, like the kidneys, are situated. Just like sharks, rays also have very tough skin, so use a clean punch to first make a hole in the skin before inserting the tag. To make sure the tag hooks in, the barb should always face down towards the ray. Push the tag into the hole made at the base of the tail at an angle of 45 degrees so that it sticks out in the direction of the tail. This will prevent the tag from rubbing against the skin and won't create much drag in the water as the ray swims. Once the tagging procedure is complete, the ray can be returned to the ocean. Find the groove just above the top lip of the ray for a firm grip and hold down the spines on the tail with a wet cloth. The ray can now be dragged gently back into the water. Use the incoming waves to assist the ray into deeper water and release it. Take special care to get your hands out of the way of the now exposed spines.